G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and welcome to episode 13 of the Nanobyte series. If you've not watched it, we take two or three minutes to talk about one topic within the fish keeping hobby. Um, short and sweet, two or three minutes, done and dusted. If you've got any suggestions or something that we can put in here, please put them in the comments below and I'm more than happy to add them to our agenda. Today we're going to talk about the chlorinator, do we need it and why we need it. This is a bit of a loaded question and no doubt I'm going to annoy some people with my answer, no doubt I'm going to make some people happy with my answer and I'm probably going to put some people on the fence. Generally speaking, do we need the chlorinator? Yes, that is my blanket answer. Uh, not everybody needs the chlorinator, there will be some people that are on water that doesn't have chlorine from their town supply, there will be some people drawing water from their own water wells and stuff like that or collecting their own water that doesn't have chlorine so that's why when I say yes as a blanket that's why uh, generally speaking if you are in a on a town supply you will need to use a dechlorinator of some description you want to do this because you want to neutralize the chlorine that is coming to make the water safe for human consumption it's not the chlorine is not safe for fish consumption basically the chlorine burns the gills and over time will do damage to the gills and will kill them and basically have them not living the the full length of their life. Uh, if you're using an RODI unit, you don't need to use chlorine. I said, if you're collecting your own water, you don't, you don't need to use chlorine. You don't need to use a dechlorinator. If you're collecting your own water, you don't need to use a chlorinator as well. Mm -hmm. um, there is obviously other other ways of doing it. You can gas off the chlorine. Uh, say you want to do a bucket for a water change once a week. Put your water in a bucket, mm -hmm. leave it in the bucket for a few days, and then. Um, basically the, the chlorine itself gases off so you're away laughing most people don't do that if you do that's awesome but if you don't i would recommend putting the chlorinate in so if you do water changes via bucket you can put the chlorinate in the bucket and pour it in or if you do it via hose put the chlorinate inside the tank most of them are fairly efficient i think prime does like five mils for a stupid amount of liters 10 mils does this tank each time i do a water change it's a piece of cake it lasts for ages and it's really easy uh, obviously there's other ones that are not just prime but that's just the one that first came into my mind so do we need to chlorinate it my answer is yes blanket rule not always needed for the reason i've just discussed but there we go there is episode 13 of nanobytes done and dusted i hope you have enjoyed it if you've got any other suggestions for other videos that we can do i'll put them on the agenda chuck them in below and we're away laughing all right guys have a good one have a fish given and catch you later